Please, Zach. Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, welcome to the Falcon TV. It's Thursday, February 24th, 2022. I'm Ellie, along with the rest of the TV crew. <laughs> The World Language Club invites you to take part in the traditional King Cake. This is a special Mardi Gras event that the cake itself often has a special thank to its center. The original version features the royal colors of gold, purple, and green. Gold represents power, purple represents justice, and green signifies faith. The shape of the cake symbolizes the unity of faiths. The club will meet today from 2.30 to 4 p.m. and room 216. They will be celebrating a Mardi Gras event and making masks as well as eating the King Cake. And always, as always, New members are always welcome. Tonight is the opening night of Memphis. Besides the appealing music that has an authentic blues and gospel and early rock and roll sound, but when the singers let loose and all they have to do is let the vocal pyrotechnics come from the show's compelling storytelling, the show has a timeless and significant story. The cast and crew consisting of Huey Calhoun, played by Griffin Ross, Felicia Farrell, played by Olivia Evans, Del Rey Farrell, played by Elijah Robertson, Mr. Simmons, played by Josiah Casanova, Gladys Calhoun, played by Riley McAvoy, Gator, played by Isaiah Watson, Bobby, played by Elliot Newman, Buck Wiley, played by Mr. Hearn, and Dish Jockey, played by Mr. Commander. And come see this show for an entertaining night in the power of music. Usually. Tell you the truth, man, I ain't never had the nerve to come to a club like this before. But I heard you sing it. And... and I wanted to see if you look as pretty as you sound. Oh, hey! Hey, I'm just gonna stop like the music. Don't everybody look. Look, sir, I need you to leave right now. You want to stay? You better come to the table. I'm sorry. Don't everybody look at me. Don't stop. 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 Don't also offer a special event for each opening, highlighting and celebrating Black History Month with a variety of special performances, showcasing the influences of Black musicians and performers and their impact on the music, as well as the significance of the city of Memphis itself. Next week at this time, the GAA will host another volleyball athon on March 3rd, Thursday, at 3 p.m. It's $5 per person and at least five people per team, and one girl on the team. Please see Ms. Malinelli to sign up, and remember the best team, team earns a prize. Hello, Falcons! Good morning, man. Yo, tomorrow we got interest man recruit. If you're not doing anything this spring, come out. If you want to put something on your college application, come out, man. You want to be the best of your life, man? Come out. Tomorrow, interest meeting for crew. You want to be part of the family? Man, you might as well come down. Right here, Coach Bray and Coach Christ's email. Shoot them an email or talk to me. You know where I'm at all day. Have a great day. Give me a second. Scratch that! I mean today. Today's the interest meeting. This week from February 21st to the 27th is National Eating Disorder Awareness Week. More than 28 million Americans will have an eating disorder in their lifetime. Individuals of all ages, races, and ethnicities, gender, sexual orientations, body shapes, weights, socioeconomic statuses, and level of physical activity can develop an eating disorder. Eating disorders are more likely to appear in teen years or young adulthood. And cases have increased among children, older adults, and military service members since the start of the pandemic. Here are a couple stats about eating disorders. 9% of the U.S. population will have an eating disorder in their lifetime. Eating disorders are among the most deadly mental illnesses second to overdoses by opiates. 10,200 deaths each year are the direct result of an eating disorder. That's one death every 52 minutes, and about 26% of people with eating disorders commit suicide. That's all for today, so for me and everyone here at FTV, have a great day.